It's your boy Ski B. How y'all doing? Ah, big producer in the building, man. Definitely got a big history in the game. To those that don't know, just give us a brief musical history into the life of Ski Beats. Uh, me, Ski Beats. For those who don't know, um, most known for the work I did with Jay Z's Reasonable Doubt, Camp Low, um, Fat Joe, Big Pun, Jadakiss, Raekwon, Nas, Foxy Brown, Lil Kim, um, John A. Um, uh, what's Brandy's little brother name? Ray J. <laughs> um, Peter Guns, Lord Tariq, Currency, J. Electronica, Joel Ortiz, um, Most Deaf, um, Gene Gray, Wiz Khalif, um, a lot of people. And what people are talking about at the moment is the 24 hour Karate School album that was released 2010. Yes. Featuring a whole load of, you know, guest MCs on there with production by yourself. Mm-hmm. Just break that, that project down for us, man, for those that didn't hear that. Well, the, you know, the 24 hour Karate School was um, my first project that I released. It's been a while since I released a project before that. But um, it was dope, man. It was just um, me in the studio, which we. Nicknamed the dojo since everything is you know karate related, and I hooked up with a with a bunch of cool artists, man, and we just put this project together, and um, now we're doing part two. Mm. Yeah. So how did the selection process go down for you getting those MCs involved? Because there's definitely some some hard hitters on there from you know currency. I know you work heavily with him mm-hmm. and your Jim Jones and your Joe or Ortiz and stuff. Yeah. Um, it wasn't no process really. It was just like um, the doors was open, and everybody you know they. People start when we first did it. We did Most Deaf. We released Taxi. Taxi came out, and uh, the buzz just started clicking. After that, then um, you know people just you know most brought J Electronica through the studio. Then we did that joint. Then you know I had a relationship with Jean. I called Jean. She came through. Then I just hit Joel on Twitter, and he came through. And next thing you know, rappers you know start coming in, and we just start recording. And and boom, it happened. Because at the, at the end of the CDs, there's a couple of instrumentals that most Def was supposed to be on, right? Yes. And he didn't actually make the final album. What was the story with that? Um, clearance problems. Mm. Yeah, we couldn't we couldn't clear him in the in the time we needed to get this album out. We wasn't able to clear him, so we had to just put it out with or without him. And we decided to do the instrumentals because people, you know, it was the songs were all over the net anyway, and people could get them at any time they wanted to, but they couldn't get that instrumental, so I gave them that. Rapping and acting, you just acting like you rapping, acting like you trapping, you trap chap. What happened? I'm high in the psychedelic tree, smiling, chest a cat and Galapagos Island turtle shell hashing. Spit a smoking good with a bad one. Jets nigga playing dirty with the fair ones. Tell me if this is fair enough to say when like you produce dead presidents and who you with for Jay Z. I think that's when a lot of people decide paying attention, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was definitely working. A lot when those when Reason with Doubt came out, you know what? But most of my work, a lot of my work came from the Camp Law album too, Uptown Saturday mm-hmm. Night. When that dropped, when Lucini dropped, mm-hmm. I started getting a lot of a lot of action on the production scene. You know what I mean? Which was kind of cool. Camp Law used to spit with the fast flows, man. And I know you're spending a bit of time in the UK. You must be realizing that a lot of the UK MCs like spitting with those fast flows, right? Yeah, yeah. They definitely are double timing it crazy out here. But they sound dope, man. They, they they have it down to a science, and with that, with the English accent on top of that, it's it's dope. So, what have you soaked in your time over here? What UK stuff have you listened to? Uh, I've been listening to um, just the music that they play me, you know, because I'm unfamiliar with everything that's going on as far as hip hop out here. But I've been listening to a lot of grime. I've been listening to a lot of um, Kano. I've been listening to Gets. I've been listening to um. Who else I've been listening to? Uh, Baby Blue, Miss Brat, um, the who? Oh, Sincere, yeah, Sway. Um, who's that? That's that girl. A dot, yeah. I I can't wait to get her in the studio. She's she's raw. So you know, like let's put let's let's put the news down for like a lot of people that are starting to talk and whisper like. You're doing a 24-hour karate school UK version, version, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's obviously some of the MCs that you got involved, right? No, no, no. <laughs> some of the MCs I, I, you would I, like I to get involved. Yes, yes. I can't tell you who's on it. 
<clears throat> but I can tell you we are in the studio. We officially moved the dojo from New York City to London Town. Mm-hmm. And um, they coming in. Mm-hmm. And we knocking songs out. And, you know, we trying to put this 24-hour Karate School UK version together. And hopefully before I leave, it'll be up and running. So what makes a heavy hit in U.S.? producer that's definitely a veteran in the game want to set up camp in the uk and get all these uk mcs involved just you know just 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 moving the brand around you know what i mean just 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 seeing like the dojo a dojo is basically a, a school you know what i'm saying and a school could be anywhere you know and you know we got masters in the states and there's masters black belt rappers over here <laughs> you know what I'm saying so we're moving the dojo we're getting the masters that's in your town to come into the dojo and lay down the tracks, you know what I mean? Do you work a lot with Currency, man? How did that relationship develop? Um, met Currency through Dame. Currency was at Dame's house and um Currency was sitting on a bean bag and Dame said, Hey, this is Currency. I had no idea who Currency was because mm-hmm. I was so out the loop at the time. He's like, He's a rapper from New Orleans, you know, he got his buzzes up. I want you to work with him. And Currency's like, Yeah, man, I've been wanting to work with you since, you know, Camp Low, whatever, whatever. So we got together. And it's funny because, you know, Currency's from the South. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to make these beats that kind of cater to the South. So my yeah, so my first attempt was to make one of those beats. It was like, yo, bro, I don't want you to do that. I want you to do what you do. And I said, really? So I started making you know the type of stuff that I like, and then we fell into this groove, this this um, well, we call it like get high music mm-hmm. in the states. You know what I'm saying? So what we do, we just make this this crazy melodic, smooth, jazzy hip hop type of music, and 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 it just clicked for him mm-hmm. and for me. You know, we we found our sound, we found our little. You know, a pilot talk. And you produce like ninety percent of like pilot talk one and two. Yeah. And, and currency is definitely respected, man. And it seems like he's kind of cool, like sort of more doing the independent thing, right? Mm-hmm. What's he? What's what's the status at the moment? What's what's he up to, man? Uh, he's actually he signed an album deal, four album deal with Warner, and uh, we are gonna do a pilot talk three, which is gonna be released on Warner. And he got uh another album that's coming out right now. He just did the Covert Coop with the Alchemist. And they got another one called Weekend at Bernie's that he's about to release. And then we got the Pilot Talk. Then I don't know what the fourth album is. But, you know, Currency, he stays doing his music and doing his thing. He's always working. He's a hard-working young man. Peel off like a new era sticker. Out that bitch like a new bone, my nigga. Can't get tangled in the web of brown weave over your bed, sleep. Homie, you weak, that's not G. Holding hands with your bitch. When the money come, you can't reach. So when this money talk, you can't speak. Who you been with?